Hell yeah, I knew Benny's car. What is up guys, it's Jesse. And today we're going to be customizing the BF Weevil Custom. I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I don't really think I need to give much of a show of what this car is, because it's been out a while. Those of you who don't know, based on the old Volkswagen Beetle. So yeah, let's just go into Benny's and see what we got. And yeah, it's a little damaged because of, uh... Oh, come on, dude. Anyways, Should be cool now. let's just go ahead and upgrade it. It's 980000 That is pretty expensive. Oh, that looks crazy. Oh, my God, and you can hear it camming already. Oh, that sounds really good. Armor, brakes, 27 options. That is a lot. Let's see what we got front bumpers. Yeah, a bunch of pole bars. I'm thinking of going for like kind of like a, I guess some kind of like Frankenstein rally car build. Oh, that looks really cool. The Baja rear cage. Oh man, some of these are really cool. Headlight covers, old school, retro, minimalist, classic. Oh, those are, those are weird. Red custom. What does that mean? Are the lights like red or something? No? Green? Oh, it's like a slight tint to the glass. Plastic, whatever it is. Yellow. Rat rod. Racing. Nice. Tail lights vintage, retro, LED. Fin, bullet. Oh, oh, that's weird, but also really cool. LED bullet, those are really cool. Bullet. Old school. Skeletal. Custom. Oh, these are all, like, really wild. I like it. Fully upgrade the engine. Exhaust. We got stock. Chrome. Big bore. Upswept. Central, upswept, baby stinger. Oh, th <laughs> that looks weird. Big bore, swinger, stinger, upswept stinger, side stinger, mega stinger, mega side stinger, rap blast pipes. All of that is uh, really cool. Quad stingers, mega zoomies, hoods, hood accessories. Uh, that's. Adventure kit, that's pretty generic. Chrome trim, rat rod trim, retro horns, red deflector, green deflector. Hmm. Blue, yellow, hood studs, hood spikes, hood chains. Nice. It's secondary, I guess that's primary, secondary carbon. Retro, that looks weird. That makes it look like a Plymouth Prowler, kind of. Fog light, secondary fog light, carbon, twin vented, hot rod hood. Hmm. Interior. World War II bomber seats. I, I, these are pretty interesting in the context of what I kind of want to do. Basic bucket seats. Lightweight ray seats, bare aluminum, rat rod. Oh, these are cool. Muscle barrel. <laughs> Worn leather. Nice. All the steering wheels. Sh the basic shifters. Doors. Yep, pretty much. Oh, the, this, these two are cool though. Roll cage. Yeah, it's a roll cage. Livery, hot rod flames, purple flames, backyard camo, arid car, 
BF Cup car. Stronzo Racing, Evil Weevil, Barn Find, Forgotten Racer, Beat Nick Beater, Tide Hide, Flower Power. Now oh, these are all from the old one. Death Beater. Oh, this is cool. I like that one. Mirrors. Old school. Retro. Vintage. Touring. Those look kind of weird. Low. Bullet. Skeletal. Rat Rod. Oh man, all this Rat Rod stuff looks so cool. Ornaments. Oh, this stuff is cool. Diamond. Re Reaper. Cow Skull. Hot Rod. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, not gonna have a plate on this in the end, I don't think. Roof. Vintage Rack. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the Ultimate Road Trip Car. Tire Rack. <laughs> Surfboard. I mean, I know this is just carried over, but still, that's pretty funny on this. Off-road rack. Polished roofing. Oh. Oh, it adds like a stripe down the middle. And polished roof spikes. Nice. Skirts. Basic running boards. Chrome running boards. Primary. Secondary. Carbon. Off-road kit. Okay. Sun strips. <laughs> Oh god, this is such a thin windshield, I didn't even notice. Imagine trying to see through that in real life. Like, think about how, like, short the Camaro's windshield is, and that's already hard to see out of. Spoilers, mid-level, ducktail, GT, primary race, secondary, oh, carbon race, primary drag, carbon drag, race, oh my god, that is big. Suspension does drop and gain some camber. Max out the transmission. Turbo. And yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to go for like rusty rat rod build. Let's see. Let's throw in like classic brown. Was that Saddle Brown? I think? Oh, what is trim color effect? The whole interior. Let's see. Um, I guess Maple Brown. Livery. Has to be this one, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's go back through it. Front bumpers, I'm thinking... Yeah, probably injection. Rear bumpers? Again, the full... Yeah, the Baja rear cage. Okay, so it does have a plate. Headlight covers... Where does the rat rod one put them again? Oh, down low. Uh, let's do racing. Oh, Tail lights. Um, yeah, skeletal. Exhaust. Mm, yeah, let's do the wrap blast pipes. Hood accessories. Um, let's do the spikes. Hood. Mm, yep. Yeah. No, actually, let's do the vent. Or the one with the vents. Interiors. Let's go with the rat rod seats. It's all good. Steering wheels. What's the most ghetto one here? Perfect. How's that for a wheel? Shifters. Um, you know I'm thinking one of the skull ones. Yeah, the one with the bulletproof hat. Doors, uh, let's do the muscle. Full cage. And what's the difference between the full and sturdy? 
Oh, that's got like a gap behind my head. Um, mirrors, rat rod, I hope you're happy. ornaments, um, yeah, let's do reaper, plate, hmm, I guess I burn rubber, why not, roof, spikes, or is that like too much, oh no, that looks pretty cool. Skirts. Uh, let's do the basic running boards. No sun strip. Spoiler. I guess ducktail. Wheels. Uh, let's have a look at the. I don't know whether to do like chrome ones. No, not chrome. Mm -hmm. Are there any like just steelies? are not huge. They're weird. I mean, I guess this kind of matches, like, the aesthetic of the build. Like, they were just pulled off an old Crown Vic cop car or something, so... I, yeah? Now, for wheel color, do I do black? Or do I go with, like, a brown? I wish you could do, like, textured wheels, like in Forza. Maybe just for GTA 6, though. Desert tan, nah, de dark, dark earth, no. Mm, well, let's do like a dark brown. Bulletproof tires, customs, no. Windows, no, no. Alright, so let's go for a drive, I guess. Yeah, really cool. I think this sound is from the peyote gasser. What does it look like inside? Pretty cool. So, this is in the muscle class, so I guess it should wheel me. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let me try on something straighter. Not hold it well. No, it definitely does not do a very good wheeling. Like the initial acceleration isn't that good, but like the high end acceleration feels pretty good. It does not feel very good under braking, I will say that. I feel pretty weak. Um Oh, I only have high beams. That's why my headlights aren't working. Hmm. Uh, let's take this on. Oh, that spun out really easily. Bottomed out on something. Hmm, let's try taking this off road, I guess. And there comes a UFO. Feels okay. Uh, let me try taking out like a more conventional dirt road. I still cannot get over this. What if I just try wheeling over it? All right, here we are in the oil fields. It feels like it has a decent amount of traction, but like at the same time it feels oversteer, which is like good if you want to rally it. But if you get too much angle, it really starts shaving off some speed. Mm -hmm. Don't know. This might be good for like off-road races, off-road and rally races in the muscle class. But other than that, I don't, I don't really know.
pop open the doors and see what we got. What do we got for a motor? There is no motor here. Huh. Okay, the shock strut mounts on the inside the engine do not match. Actually, that the whole suspension system doesn't match. Not even the right type. Uh, my spare is damaged. Nice. Yeah, no, inside looks pretty cool. And, um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of motor that is. Like, it sounds like a V8, but... That does not look like a V8. Hmm. But yeah, no, definitely in general. Uh, really cool car. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Come here now, girl.